Hi everyone, welcome to day two of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. You can use the hashtag 30DSCBL5 if you are going to play along. We have this sketch by, um, what was that, Inspired Blueprints or something like that. And I'm also doing the Paper Issues Spring Crop challenge let's go fly a kite and it's all about featuring spring activities or outdoors so i pulled out this dear lizzie is it lovely day collection um and a lot of these papers are still available in the paper issue shop um and i am cutting two inch strips so i picked out a bunch of colors i kind of used this blue one with the florals as my like original inspiration piece and then I pull out the other papers that go that are within that paper and then I'm using that house paper as the background which is kind of unusual for me um, I always struggle to use those kind of papers but I had a really good idea so I I'm, I really love how it turns out so I am now cutting each strip down um, into a three so it's two by three inch squares and I'm going to cut kites out of it. So first I tried to use my paper trimmer because I just could not wrap my brain around how to cut a damn kite. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I sat there for a few minutes and just kind of stared at it like this should be simple. Why can't I figure this out? So, yeah, I figured it out. Um, and I wanted them all to be a little different, so I just hand cut them instead of kind of batch cutting them. And I'm going to do two of each, like each um, pattern. And again, um, just like yesterday, I am going to rotate the sketch so that um, that kind of banner strip is up at the top um, because that's where kites are. Right? So I was going to have them, and you'll see, I play around with it a little bit. And there might be a couple of gaps in this video where I'm not doing anything, and that's because I'm helping with homeschooling at the same time, and I just, yeah, couldn't be bothered to edit it out. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to use these two photos of my dog, and this is in the springtime, like when, it, you know, after the grass comes back, when it gets all warm and stuff, and he's just chilling out there and his ears are all flipped back um I think he shook his head just before I took these pictures and both of his ears got stuck backwards and he's just kind of looking around and he looks so adorable so yeah I thought th this was a fun outdoor springtime photo <clears throat> so I'm just <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm really losing my voice I'm just trimming um down these kites again doing the second set here and then I'm gonna kind of pop off because I got to this point and I'm like now what um, so I'm gonna play around a little bit here I'm gonna back my photos on some white cardstock and I was intending on backing them on some of that blue but I end up changing changing that um, thought just a little bit Oh, and my little trimmer is just really crappy right now. I've got to figure out how to sharpen the blade. I've tried a, the tin foil and it didn't really work. I think I need to like clean it really well and then try to sharpen it because I think maybe it's got some adhesive on it or something, but it's just shredding the edges and it's driving me a little bananas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I was thinking about doing... <clears throat> something like this where I kind of have it going up the side and over the top here but I don't like that so I'm going to change it and now we're back and I have sewed all these down using um, just white thread and my sewing machine and then I decided to pull in a couple of these um, oh this new Chamel collection what is it called It is called, well, I don't know because the stickers don't have the name of it on. Oh, I should know this because I love it. Never Grow Up. Um, so I decided to pull in a couple 
of the little cut apart cards from this, that one with that adorable dog on it. I love it. And then I'm using a yellow one because I felt like I needed to pull in a little bit of yellow. And so I used the one with the butterflies. And unfortunately on both journaling cards, the like pattern is on the same side and that bothers me a little bit because I want, I, you know, I'd really like to kind of stagger them, but whatever. So just sticking these down. And again, I brought in that blue paper with the florals. <clears throat> And then just popping up the one photo on some fun foam. So if you haven't already, um, I will have a link down below to Christy's channel for sure. And then anybody else that I have links for, I will include um, that's playing along with the 30 Days of Sketches. I think there's like five or six people um, playing along. You can also search the hashtag 30 Days. DSCBL5 or even just hashtag 30DSCBL um, on Instagram or probably Facebook or anywhere where people put tags in um, to come up with more inspiration. Um, and then the paper issues crop uh, challenges are open until April 5th. And I think most of what I'm using is available in the shop. I could be mistaken because things change so quickly um, that, you know, when I check, oftentimes by the time the video goes up, they're missing. But, yeah, I know there's a bunch of the Dear Lizzie still available in the shop. And these are gorgeous papers, so I definitely recommend getting some. Um, the Chamel sticker sheet might have been gone, <clears throat> now that I think about it. I really love the new Chamel collection. Like, it's super cute. It's one of those ones, like, little by little that I just love. And I'm so happy that I got some, so. So I just stuck some stickers around, and then that's going to be the end of my layout. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!